strange result from Afcon encounters yesterday as Ghana threw away a two goal lead. Cody Vaughan on the brink of exit after four new bits in. While Nigeria play below par, yet begin the Bissau to finish second in Group A. Good morning and welcome to another exciting edition of Sports Trip. I am Oluji Midari Ogun saying welcome to the show. And so begin with tennis where second seed Carlos Alcaraz said he played almost perfectly in the fourth round win over Mema Kepmanovich at the Australian Open. The two-time Grand Slam champion won 6-4-6-4-6 club to win the quarterfinals for the first time at Melbourne Park. Spaniard Alcaraz produced a dominant display to read the last eight in Melbourne for the first time, impressing the crowd with powerful ground strokes and heart-breaking movements against world number 60 Kepmanovich. The former world number one did not face a big point and it's for the three winners compared to 14 of his opponents who simply could not get a foothold in the match despite playing his in some exciting rallies. Well, uh, it feels special to make the quarterfinal here in, in Melbourne. Uh, this is a really uh, big tournament, uh, an amazing tournament. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm proud with the, with the level that uh, I am playing. So it's going to be a really tough quarterfinal against Sasa. Hopefully to make the, the semifinal here, but, you know, let's see how it's going to be the, the, next, the next match. Uh, on the court, I'm feeling better and better every day. I'm feeling better and better uh, every match that, I, that I'm playing, uh, coming into the quarterfinal with a lot of confidence. So I, I, I will try to take, uh, to take this as a, as a advantage. I was with the Mavide beat Portugal's in the boys and pull up at Oka's beat World Card also Kajua. Third seed Mavide failed to convert two match points at 5 points in the third set before beating world number 59 boys 6375761 on the Rod Lava Arena. Russian Mavide has switched five time Grand Slam but won only one the US Open in 2021. He has switched side under Vajukovic or Rafael Nadal in every final though. Players with 46 major titles between them. Mavide will face nine seats about Oka's in the last eight after the 26 year old ended Frenchman Kajua's brilliant run. World number one at 22 Kajua and beating the city Garin in the second round but could not cause another upset as Ocas won 7-6-7-6-6-4 on John Ken Arena. To women singles Ukrainian qualifier Diana Yastrevska said she felt her heart was going to jump out of her body after she knocked out Victoria as a ranker to reach the Australian Open quarterfinals. Yastrevska won 7 6 6 4 against two time champion as a ranker to move past the last 16 of a Grand Slam event for the first time. But she will not face an all Ukrainian quarterfinal after Elena Bitolina retired due to injury against Linda Noskova. Bitolina stopped due to a back issue. The Wimbledon semi finalist had to quit when she threw three love to the Czech teenager who also advanced into her first. Grand Slam quarterfinal. Vitolina seeded 19. Since she thought it was Palms, the exit of Azarenka and Vitolina leaves the side of the draw even more wild open than it had been after all the high-profile exits in earlier rounds. With Chinese 12 seed Zen Quen, the highest ranked player remaining, she advanced to the last with a comfortable 6 club 6 3 win over Francis Sushen Dodin and faced Anakalis Kana next after the world number 75 beat this 26 seed Yasin Pualini. <laughs> to the AFCON segment of the show. Nigeria qualified for the 2023 AFCON Cup of Nations round of 16, following a hard fought one new victory over Guinea-Bissau on Monday evening. The Super Eagles came into the game on the brink of qualification thanks to a 1-1 one -one draw against Equatorial Guinea and a 1-0 win over Ivory Coast. However, the three-time African champion found it difficult against the team returned to the bottom of Group A. The decisive goal came in the first half with Opa Sangati lashing Simon Moses cross past his goalkeeper. That man, Frank Onyeka, which is never easy, took a up on the left hand side a great opportunity. Sean hits in the back of the net. Oh, wow. And it's an own goal. Smashed in. Crashed in by Opa Sangante. And Victor Simen couldn't even get anywhere near it. It was already blasted him. He would have probably done the same. But it didn't happen. It was, of course, the pressure from him being there. The win put Nigeria on seven point, but not enough to take Nigeria to the summit of the table after Equatoria Guinea tries Ivory Coast by four goals to nothing to maintain their spot at the summit of the table. Meanwhile, in Gribi, Ghana considered twice in stoppage time to throw away a two goal lead to drum Mozambique and almost certainly exit the African Cup of Nations. The Black Star looked to be cruising into the last 16 thanks to two Jordan Ayus penalties, one in each half. But Jenny Katamo pulled one back from the spot in the 71 minutes before Meredo Madavas Eda broke Ghana's heart. On to the left, sliding his way through. Penalty, says the referee. Can he put them in the lead here? Early on against Mozambique, yes, he can. It's against Renildo. Jordan Ayu. Jordan Ayu. To Nogada. The Black Stars are on their way to second place in this group. 
Katamo against the 40. Mozambique back in this. Decent one to the back post. Where's the goal? Ray Nildo scores. This is great news for Cote d'Ivoire. They're celebrating. Final whistle. Ghana are as good as out. In the other group B match, he just made it through to the last 16 of the African Cup of Nations after a 2-2 draw with Kivrad, following a dramatic finale to Group B in Abidjan. The Ferris had looked set to finish third behind the Blue Sharks and Ghana before stopping time goals in both games. Here is there looking super dangerous. They're trying to get a shot in. Oh, there's a goal! Kate Bailey has scored! Unbelievable! This is remarkable! The Blue Sharks have done it again! Zizou with the corner. Comes over. Perfectly delivered. Chance for a shot. No, it's not a shot. Oh, that's a beautiful one too. Look at that for an excellent shot. And it's in the back of the net. It's a goal. Didn't think it was him, but it is. It's got him. Tries again. Tries again. It's the man. That's a high ball over the top. It's there. It's there. It's in the back of the net. They've done it. Egypt has scored. Goal, Egypt. Goal, Egypt. Egypt. And it's the Blue Sharks who can't let go now. The ball comes across. Great save. It's in the back of the net, they've scored! At the end of group matches in Group B, Cape Verde qualified as group toppers with seven points, Egypt with three points, Ghana are likely going to be out of the competition with two points. To the games coming up today in AFCON, in Group C is Gambia against Cameroon, Guinea against Senegal. In Group D is Angola against Burkina Faso, Mauritania against Algeria. And now to football in Europe, the 21st goal of the season for Lautaro Martinez was enough to determine the destination of the Italian Super Cup as Inter Milan had to a 1-0 win over a 10-man Napoli who had Giovanni Simeone sent off on the half-hour mark. Martinez converted for Benjamin Pavard's cross in injury time to ensure Simeone in Zaga's side defended the trophy they have now won in three consecutive seasons. Alexis Sanchez, this is Pavard, surely Lautaro Martinez! If anyone was going to win it, it had to be the skipper. They had to wait until added time, but it is surely going to be three in a row for Inter, three in a row for Inzaghi, and Inter are very much the kings of the Super Cup. It went from Italian football to England, where Brighton played the goalless draw against Wolves yesterday in the English Premier League and in Spanish La Liga. Is Atletico away from home defeating Granada by one goal to nothing, with Alvaro Morata getting the only goal. Later today in the EFL Cup semi-finals, it's Chelsea against Middlesbrough and in the Copa del Rey is Celta Figo against Real Sociedad. To the news speaking around in transfer, West Ham United are close to agreeing a loan deal with Manchester City for Calvin Phillips, but Juventus could still make a late move for the England international. Manchester United have offered England winger Julian Sancho and Brazilian winger Anthony to clubs in Saudi Pro League and wants around £50 million for each player. Ajax and Netherlands for Brian Broby will jump at the chance to join Manchester United and work with former boss Sir Rick Ten Hag. Chelsea have the intention of selling England defender Levy Corio this month, despite interest from Liverpool. Newcastle are demanding that Bayern Munich pay a fee of around £12 million for England. England fullback Aaron Trippier, who is also interested in the move to Germany. Chelsea and Manchester United have been told that Nice will not entertain offers for their French defender, Jinklen to Debu. Finally, Lyon are attempting to bring Karim Benzema back to the club from Saudi Arabia, with the former French forward possibly the latest high-profile player to leave Saudi Pro League. This is where we call it a wrap on today's edition of Sports Trip. Keep listening to us on Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1. I am Oluji Midariogo, saying stay sporty, stay healthy.